to the chair. We have called for the three staff members and one MP, sir. to discuss the big documents uh, checklist. <coughs> you need to uh, you need to you are required to submit the eligibility documents, technical components and financial components. So I start first with the eligibility documents. So for class A documents, under the eligibility documents, you need to submit the SEC registration certificate, mayor's business permit or its equivalent document, tax clearance, audited fin financial statement, Philippine contractors accredit accreditation, pickup license and registration, audited financial statement, Phil Jeff's registration and platinum membership, including its annex A. Then, uh, 
then the first five, this, these are the class A documents. Then number seven, statement of all its ongoing government and private contracts, including contracts awarded but not yet started, if any, whether similar or not similar in nature and complexity to the contract to be paid. Also, you need to submit a statement identifying the bidder's single largest completed contract similar to the contract to be paid. The single largest completed contract should be equivalent to at least 50% of the ABC and completed within the last 10 years. The last one is the NFCC computation in accordance with IPB close 5.5. For the class B documents, this is only applicable The joint venture bidders shall submit a joint venture agreement in accordance with RA 4566 and its IRR. Then for the technical components, number one, you need to submit the bid security. This, in, this is in accordance with ITB Close 18 and shall be limited to, first one is bid security declaration or cash or cashier, cashier's uh, manager's check. But third one is bank drop guarantee and the surety bond. The surety bond in the amount of not less than 5% of the ABC. Then the second one is the organizational chart of the contract to be paid. List of construction personnel. List of construction equipment. Omnibus storm statement. The certificate of site inspection duly signed by the facility in charge or his duly authorized representative. And this shall include the following as attachment to the certificate of site inspection and shall form part of the bidder's technical documents. The photocopy of the company ID of the persons who conducted the site inspection and the photocopy of the air airports or facility visitors land book. Then the last one is the bid form. Bulletin. For the financial component, this is this should be placed on the second envelope. The first one is the financial bid form, the bill of quantities, the bid proposal, detailed statement, summary of unit prices for the materials, labor, and equipment. And the last one, and this shall include all the following doc document as to the cash flow by quarter and payment schedule and shall from part of the bidders, shall form part of the bidders financial documents. Uh, it includes the construction schedule, the bar chart and S curve, and the last one is the cash flow by quarter and payment schedule. The requirements. Uh, each page of the document must be signed, initialized by the authorized signatory of the company. Then each document must be paginated consecutively pages, pages from one, for example, if, the, it's, if it, it's 100 pages, you'll start from one of 100 to 100, and the last page will be 100 of 100. Then the documents are required to be labeled, indexed, tab with corresponding annex. Paper. All envelopes must be sealed and signed by the authorized signatory of the paper. The format should be uh, the technical and eligibility components should be placed in one envelope and the financial component in another envelope. And these two envelopes should be placed in another envelope. And you have to copy, make two copies of these documents and place it in one big main, main envelope. <coughs> so all in all, it's 10 envelopes. Uh, do you have any questions? Uh, at least 10 years na
statement identifying the bidder's single largest completed contract similar to the contract to be paid. The single largest completed contract should be equivalent to at least 50% of the ABC and completed within the last 10 years. So, within the last 10 years. Last 10 years, you can complete the project. To the bidder, sir, can you check uh, section 5.4b? The purpose of this, uh, for this purpose, similar contracts should refer to contracts that have been the same major categories of work, rehabilitation, improvement, or repair works. For example, for the first project, the rehabilitation of existing. Okay, the, the first because this, these are two projects. Two projects. The first project is the improvement and rehab of existing perimeter fence of A and F facilities and other works in Tagaytay facility. The ABC of this project is one million four hundred eighty-two thousand. Five hundred sixty-six thousand seven hundred thousand pesos. So this means fifty percent of this um, amount, and the project should be completed within the last ten years. Last ten years. Yes. Yes. To the bigger, sir, analyzer, as reference, the many experience now that the similar projects. So, dapat may 50% kanon na nagawa mo na before? Na, then after 10 years. No, sir. Uh, within the 10 years, fine. Within the 10 years, fine. Yes. From 2019 uh, until sa 2009, sir, 10 years po yan. Uh, may nagawa kanon pa loob doon. Any single one na single largest contract mo na similar doon sa project. Any other questions? Uh, sir, if you have a doctor, you can't have a Yes. 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 Yes.
Ang parbuhaya ko lang naman ano yan eh Kung ano lang yung talagang Regular na ginagamit natin sa Pagkakot Siya rin yung galing Ano ito yung sa prank at sa kawan Ayan Yung existing lang sir Then i-ano natin din yung ano Yes sir Isa sa pang question po ano po? Kasi ito sa title ng project ay may other works na nalagay. Oo. Nasa bintops po yung other works na yun. Okay, may ano naman siya. Kaya mix. Present kasi yung project title may may and other works. Ah, meron. Nasa bintops po na. Nasa bintops po na.
Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, no winners. No winners is there to attend the private conference. But you can think you will put a and
So we made some changes, so that's why we requested another uh, pre profile to present uh, sa, sa back. So, so, yung ADSB uh, establishment of ADSB ground station uh, will uh, actually uh, uh, provide us with the uh, six ADSB ground station sites. Uh, one in uh, Lawag, General Santos, Puerto Princesa, uh, Jumalik Airports, and uh, one in Mag Magic and Tagaytay Radar Facility. Um, I, an ADSB data processor will also be included in the project. Um, and the uh, integration of the data, surveillance data from the uh, aforesaid sites and including the existing ADSB ground station uh, surveillance data po i integrate dito sa project na to. Uh, and the uh, patara sa uh, yung Singapore uh, data sharing natin um, na data uh, may integrate na rin dito sa uh, sa project na to. For use ng ATMC sa um, sa operations natin. Is it uh, a requirement for, for some compliances or is it, is it something that we under, address already? Sir, uh, it is a, uh, under the IKO Aviation Systems backup rate, siya po yung technology neighbor natin for alternative surveillance. So, magko-comply tayo doon, sir. Although, meron na tayong isa, may additional pa tayong, itong mga additional sites will actually com uh, make us compliant doon sa uh, requirement ng aviation system, yung ASBU, sir, na tinatawag. Including part din po kasi po ng uh, Asia-Pacific Surveillance Strategy, yung implementation ng alternative surveillance aside from uh, Conventional radars under the vision implementation. Also included in the, I think, air navigation services for, uh, air navigation for uh, under the uh, 2018 uh, Asia Pacific uh, Ministerial, uh, Ministerial uh, Committee, uh, Beijing Declaration. So the project service is uh, uh, 313,447,500. Uh, uh, which will include supply delivery installation of ADSB ground stations on uh, six sites, uh, including the, an ADSB data processor and its subsystems and ancillaries, including the integration to the monitoring automation system. So, uh, yung change po, sir, is uh, i-highlight ko na lang, sir, yung uh, comparing dun sa last na pre-procurement. So, one, isang change, sir, is yung from, uh, yung last kasi, sir, is uh, five, uh, eight years yung nilagay natin sa, for the number of years na dapat na sa business na yung mag-bibit o yung equipment, dapat o yung OEM dapat na sa manufacturing business na, na sa for the last five years uh, instead of the eight years requirement for yun sa unang uh, na present sa inyo sir sa na pre pro sa pre pro next is the similar contracts uh, so we've added uh, Integration, uh, integration to Thales MSTS or multi-sensor tracking system. So, in-specify na natin, sir, yung, yung uh, Thales system dahil wala pong iba kasi talagang uh, mag-complies at saka mag, uh, 
pwedeng mag-integrate doon sa automation system natin kasi talis system siya. And uh, we've also included uh, for the subcontracting, uh, aside from the site preparation and the uh, incidental electrical civil works, uh, sinama na rin natin sir yung ATM automation system uh, OEM integration works. So, uh, inaalaw natin yung main contractor to subcontract the uh, integration works. Uh, aside from yung option nila na mag JD, pwede rin silang mag-subcon doon sa, sa so mas mas uh, may mga options yung contractor binigyan natin sila ng more options although lalabas sir uh, hmm. uh, hindi natin maalis na talagang Thales is yung man dahil yung equipment natin kasi sir na existing is Thales talaga so walang ibang OEM na pwede mag-integrate na hindi masis ma-avoid yung warranties o magbibigyan tayo ng warranties.
na-check doon sa facility kung talagang nagpunta ka. Lastly, yung uh, terms of payment. So, we've revised the terms of payment. Uh, actually, sir, yung standard sa billing document is 15% uh, for those uh, four items na um, coming from abroad or supplied from abroad, 15% uh, siya upon contract signature and then 65 sa upon delivery then 20 I think sa acceptance now na uh, medyo hiniwalay lang natin yung dalawang ano uh, yung sa 65 uh, bali uh, sa upon contract signature same pa rin sir 15% and then yung uh, require na natin yung on completion ng installation of all ADSB ground stations uh, 25 percent and we require that a certificate of completion issued by the builder with attached only and certifications for each ADSB ground station certifying that all systems or subsystems are properly installed as per specification is safe for use and have passed all the local site tests. Next is the on completion of integration works so it's uh, 40 percent naman siya. So, hindi, hindi, unlike yung sa original terms of payment, nang ma-deliver lang nila, pwede natin ang bayar ang kagad ng additional 65%. So, dito kasi crucial na ma-integrate kasi ma-deliver ma ma nga nila, hindi naman natin magamit. So, doon sa original, pwede natin bayaran eh. Dito, dapat complete yung, uh, yung project. So, including yung integration, sir. And then, uh, last is yung on acceptance, yung standard naman sa 2020, um, expected kasi natin sir, uh, reduce kasi natin yung project implementation from 480 to 365. So, so yung project kayo matatapos sa 2021? Yes sir. Yung uh, all tests uh, commissioning measures sa 2021. So, yung first uh, payment natin expected sa 2020 uh, uh, this amount and then sa 2021 yung remaining amount of project. We, we have not changed the total project cost. Pero yung allocation lang ng change sir sa yearly uh, requirement uh, ano, dahil nag-change ng project schedule sir from 480 na squeeze natin sa 365. So magbabago rin talaga yung uh, payment uh, schedule. Uh, to the chair, hindi ba siya nabilog sa whole time year contract sir? multi-year contract na ano siya sa for two years tapos yung first year ganito magbayaran ang amount second year ganito magbayaran ang amount kasi 2021 so about 2019 uh, wala tayong magbayaran 
Uh, wala sir. Uh, kailangan, ah, expected natin sir, uh, mag-bid out sila this year. Ah, mag-contract out sila sa this year. Tapos ang payment natin, but next year na. Nasa first quarter natin nilagay sir yung itong amount. Uh, 15 plus uh, 15 plus 25 sir. Very very fine. Sa last portion na Except yung one sir. Um, sorry, yung 15 percent maari ko maari ng ibil nila by uh, maybe first quarter of next year. Pero yung remaining ng allocation natin ng 2020 nasa fourth quarter na. Kasi most hindi uh, yung expected natin na ma-complete yung ADSB ground stations palang. Sir, wala tayong amount uh, na ni-reflect for this year uh, pero nandito ito naka-indicate yung uh, project natin for the purpose ng BD. Kasi advance nga tayo sir, pwede natin i-bid without the budget. Basta yung next, kung kailan kailangan yung, ano, yung budget is dapat. Pastor uh, uh, na sir sir na I knew sir na in the year of 2020, they have the budget of 125,379,000. Thousand. Right. And sa 2021, meron silang 188 million na 68,500 pesos for the continuity sa project. So, Chair, uh, we've already included it in the PPMP na uh, this amount for 2020, yung 125 million 379. Um, Lawag, uh, Tagaytay, Tumali, Puerto Princesa, General Santos, uh, Mount Magic. So, sir, mo tayo yung sir? Um, hindi namin pa sir ma-determine kung kaya nilang i-parallel. Pero yung estimate namin ng schedule sir is uh, se sequential yung installation nila. Pero tingin ko kaya naman sa ang maano lang is yung Jumali na area kasi mahirap yung tahan. So ito sir yung uh, tentative project scale. Dito sir, base yung, yung estimate natin na 365 dollars per day. Uh, 
the mirror bearing that uh, uses uh, the, ex uh, the expansions or the, the glide path shelters and, and its composition of the shelters are made of concrete so it has to be also moved and the shelter sh uh, shall be replaced with a with a friendly materials. Then uh, at the same time, it has also some uh, improvements uh, during the floor pond, which is the, uh, the construction of uh, the new tax So, so the, the replacement for ILS for the Francis for Bang Airport. Um, is for the two sites, which is the runway 05 and runway 23. Maybe you go to go to the So we have now uh, two ILS. We have ILS in that one. Yes, sir. Uh, and and then, why do we need to replace these two ILS? Um, the two ILS was um, installed uh, in 2003. It was commissioned uh, in last 2003. So was already in operation for almost 16 years and it has also undergone some various um, uh, preventive and corrective maintenance like for the ILS uh, it was um, uh, already replaced with uh, uh, the boards uh, and the uh, ILS equipment uh, and also uh, the glide path uh, it was uh, struck by lightning so it uh, works for the AC to DC power supply was already replaced and at the same time uh, those uh, spare parts uh, are already uh, uh, not, not manufactured or So it is uh, not available in the market. And um, the, this project, um, on site survey, was uh, using uh, the wireless link for the remote monitoring. And uh, the new design for this project will be using a fiber optic uh, connection uh, to, to eliminate um, the EMF or electromotive the, the what we call the Uh, design planning directive 
sa IMS Waste hanggang 13 years lang po. So ano ilan ba yung ano? Uh, ilang taon ba dapat ang isang IRS? Ano po? Uh, 13 years po. So pasok na yung... Uh, yes sir. Pasok na yung spawn ng... Yes sir. And then at the same time po, yung... Yung mga spare parts niya po is na uh, hindi na... Wala na po sa market. So may mga replacement po ang nangyari. May mga corrective maintenance na ginawa dun sa IRS. So hindi na po available yung mga spare parts na. Then, at the same time po, magkataroon po tayo ng improvement doon sa sa tatakbuhan ng, ano, ng, ng electrical. Gagawan po ito ng conduits, wire, at the same time, fiber optic. Meron po yung gagamitin. And doon po kasi sa lumang design niya, ang nangyari po is hindi siya partner yung ILS na 05. At the same time, yung glide pack. Isa lang po yung connection nila, hindi ko siya magsa. Yeah, in short, ano na, uh, the, 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 uh, the life span to be, uh, to be effective uh, in its operation, wala na. Do you, yes, do, do you experience uh, troubleshooting or anything? Opo sir, uh, napalitan na po yung mga boards dun sa localizer. At the same time yung po sa glide pack na napalitan na dito kasi may mga natural uh, ano na tinamaan mo siya ng lightning. Yes. So, kung kung mapalitan mo sa lab ng this uh, IRS? Pag napalitan po yung board? O yun lang replace? Kung mapalitan ng sa ito? Ah, so, mga mangyayari po tayo, magkakaroon po tayo ng brand new IRS at the same time po, um, magkakaroon naman po tayo ng panibagong uh, yung so, lens. So, wala rito? O oh, wala na yung first one? Yes, sir. Opo. Mare-replace at the same time. Okay. Replace mo yun. And then, may ma-ano din po tayo na dun sa ano nung Euro Veritas. Yung findings din nila na ma-mitigate po natin yung mga findings nila. Kasi katulad po ng shelter, um, ang sabi na ang Euro Veritas is it is made of concrete. Papalitan po natin ang ano yun. Non-default materials. Sir, this is to ask Sir Anji. Same location po yung IRS sa Tripad? Yung Lysor Tripad? Mr. Chair, yung pong location ng IRS is for the localizer side. Same location lang siya since it satisfies naman yung mga requirements, however, yung sa findings is hindi dumating tayo na sa may flying uh, pad uh, which is uh, within the range ng ng 120 from the center line. Clarification na, kasi kung pagkutuin natin yung location, kung pagkutuin natin yung location, so you mean this is shelter or the container? Yung antena po, Mr. Chair, is the same. Pero yung shelter natin, may usok natin as far as possible. So, in that case, hindi ka na kung tawag na ito siya yun? Ah, hindi po. So, yung tales ng project ng Labaw. 
uh, which is uh, the required completion of uh, ILS 0523 and its ancillary is for 450 calendar days. Then with at least 10 years with the manufacturing business of navigation of AIDS equipment. Uh, then for the requirements, the requirements na then is um, localizer equipment and some system two sets, and which is for zero five and and uh, runway 23. Then glide path equipment and self systems, two sets also for 05 and 23, including the IDM equipment and self systems. Then the system monitoring and control equipment, one set. And since uh, this calls for the replacement of localizer and glide, glide path equipment shelter, so we will refer to the one that value it. So almost four shelters for it. So, then spare parts. Then we will be needing uh, test equipment and tools. Um, the use of multi Communication analyzer, oscilloscope, uh, PIR, uh, frequency counter, then meters, extender boards, directional coupler. Then, since we are having um, fiber optic uh, as a means of uh, transmission link, we will be needing the OTDR for uh, for troubleshooting and also the optical fiber fusion splicer and a service notebook computer for uh, the system and the side works is the provision of new power line fiber optic link and ancillary and ancillaries and other works we also have a training and path for the project, uh, which is composed of. Sir? Uh, uh, which is composed of uh, factory acceptance test of five persons for five days. And Factory training for eight persons uh, for a minimum of eight, ten days. Then we have the commissioning and flight check for the two sites. And we have included the ILS warranty for the defect and liability period. What that? Um, sir, kasi po kung ano, since uh, ano, isa, isa lang naman yung pag ano, dun sa two step, isa na lang nilagay natin. Yes, and then at uh, the same time sir, um, may mga existing ano na rin dun na, kasi may mga projects na rin tayo dun na, ano, so may laptops na rin uh, available, so masyado na marami. Yes, it's 
CC.
And also, sir, uh, on September 24, we have uh, open openings for the three projects which has been prepared a credit conference to the region. For the information sir, yung uh, September 20, the CPRD, ng ENS. Okay, we'll be moving and a week after it. It's on Tuesday. Kung ayaw natin ang Thursday po, sir. If we proceed with Thursday, kung okay po sa back members, that will be on September 26. If that's right, it will be on October 1. Okay, we will coordinate this one as a back member, sir, for their presence during the meeting. So, September 26th or October 1? Yes, sir. So since there are no more other agendas, so we need to be in this number.